all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <laughs> Come on, Robert, try it again. Humpty, Dumpty. Hmm? You can remember it if you try. Come on, what did Humpty Dumpty do? Um, Humpty Dumpty hmm? uh, sat yes. uh, yeah. on a... Moon cat! Moon cat, Humpty Dumpty sat on a moon cat. No, he didn't. He sat on a wall. Moon cat! Oh, let's go and see what Stephen wants. Hmm? Oh, there you are, Moon cat. Would you mind helping me tidy up this room? It's in a terrible mess. But I'm busy. I'm teaching my friend Robert Humpty Dumpty. Show him, Robert. Humpty Dumpty. Yes, but couldn't you teach him later, Mooncat? We really ought to get the room tidied up first. Why? Well, my friend's coming to visit. Your friend? Yes, my friend Kenny. I thought I was your friend. Well, but you are, but you could have more than one friend. You'll like him. Now, come on, let's get these things put away before he gets here. Hmm. He's your friend, so you can tidy up for him. I'm going to show my friend Robert Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Now what's he so upset about? It's not fair, Robert. Stephen's got me as a friend. Why does he want anybody else as well? Perhaps he doesn't like me anymore. I bet that's Kenny, that friend of Stephen's. Well, I don't want to meet him, do you? No, let's hide in the shed. He won't find us there. <coughs> This is a good place to hide, isn't it? We'll stay here until Kenny's gone home. And while we're waiting, I'll teach you Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Can you remember it? Humpty Dumpty sat on a shed. Yeah, there. Perhaps I'll teach you Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle instead. Mooncat, come and meet Kenny. Oh, that's odd, he's not here. Oh, that's a shame. I was really looking forward to meeting him. Mooncat! Where are you? Maybe he's gone out. Oh, no, he's a bit too young to go out on his own. Well, he wasn't in the shop or the back room, but he's not in here. Mooncat! Mooncat! He must have gone out. <sighs> Otherwise, he would have heard you. Well, I think I'd better go and look for him. Would you mind waiting in the shop in case he comes back? No, no, I'd love to. <laughs> He'll never find us in here. <laughs> oh, oh, he's coming. Quick, Robert, hide. Mooncat, where are you? Ah. You in there? Mooncat? I told you he wouldn't find us in here, didn't I, Robert? What's the matter, Robert? You look a bit worried. I'm frightened. Oh, don't worry. I'm your friend. I'll look after you. I want to go home. So do I. Come on. Oh, get myself another book. Mm -hmm. What have we got here? Mm -hmm. Ah, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. Otters. Oh, that's nice. Mooncat. Mooncat. I'm Kenny, Stephen's friend. Yeah, I thought you were. Where's Stephen? He's, uh, looking for you. Where have you been? I've been out in the shed. Oh. He's very worried, you know. Is he? Yeah. Why? Well, he thinks something might have happened to you, or you might be lost or hurt. Oh, I didn't mean to worry him. Yeah, I know you don't, but he, but he cares about you. You're his best friend. Uh, I thought you were his friend. 
Well, I am, but uh, Stephen's got lots of friends, but you're the one he cares about most. Uh, I thought he didn't like me anymore. Of course he does. <laughs> oh, there you are, Mooncat. Oh, I was worried Stephen. about you. I'm sorry, Stephen. I, I was hiding in the shed with Robert. Uh, but you're not going to do it again, are you, Mooncat? No, no, I won't. And Robert won't either, will you, Robert? I was frightened. Oh, poor Robert. Uh, Kenny. Yeah? Will you tell us a story to cheer him up? Of course I will. <laughs> There's the book. Oh, good. What are friends for? <laughs> now, you listen to this, Robert. <laughs> Pete was playing with some pebbles in the garden. He rolled one across the ground. It hit a bucket. He rolled another. As he bent down to pick it up, suddenly a grumpy voice said, Oi, you! Pete looked around. There was no one to be seen. He bent down again. Oi! The voice said louder. <laughs> Who's that? said Pete. It's uh, me, uh, down here, behind the bucket. Pete looked. There on the ground was a green frog. <laughs> Who are you, said Pete. Uh, frog, said Frog. And uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Pete, said Pete. Where did you come from? Uh, behind, that, behind the fence there, the pond, said Frog. What about you? Uh, I live in that house said Pete, pointing behind him. Uh, this is my yard. I, I, I play here a lot. Play, said Frog. Uh, what do you play at best? Well, I can, I can catch a ball and I can whistle, said Pete. Uh, watch me. Pete picked up a ball and threw it in the air. <laughs> then he caught it and he did it again. He whistled too. Oh, said Frog. Uh, I do jumping best. Uh, uh, just have a look at this. <laughs> Pete tried to jump with him. It turned into a game, jumping in and out of the puddles. <laughs> oh, lucky I've got my wellies on, said Pete. Uh, they keep my feet dry. Oh, frogs don't need wellies, said Frog. It, it must be hard to jump in wellies. Oh, no, it isn't, said Pete. I, uh, I can look. And to show, he jumped right across the puddle. Uh, have you got any friends, uh, said Frog? Uh, not yet, said Pete. Uh, have you? Uh, well, I, I have some uh, back at the pond, he said, but uh, uh, not round here. Well, uh, will you be my friend, said Pete? Uh, all right, said Frog, uh, if I decide to stay, that is. Pete put his hand in his pocket and he pulled out a piece of string, a conker and a crayon. Mm -hmm. He held out the conker to Frog. Uh, Here's a present, he said. Oh, ta, said Frog. Uh, it'll, uh, it'll make a wonderful football. Uh, Peter, Peter, called a voice. Uh, it, it's time for tea. Oh, uh, that's my mum, said Pete. He turned and whispered to Frog. Bye-bye, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, uh, Ta-da, said Frog. Pete went inside for his tea. Having a friend was a, a real lovely feeling. Oh, yeah. Hey, it is good having friends, isn't it? Yes, especially <laughs> friends who tell you stories. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, and friends who sing you songs. Oh. <laughs> How'd that get there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's moon magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. If you've got friends, that's a reason to feel happy. Even though they're sometimes snappy, they're still your friends. No, that was me, Robert. If you got friends, you will always find them caring. No. You'll get pleasure out of sharing everything with friends. Oh, good. <laughs> though they may go off and hide, it's good to have them by your side because they brighten up your day. Even when they're in the mood, you know they don't mean to be rude. So won't you listen to what I say? Okay. If you've got friends, ooh, you ah, can you have yourself, yourself as lucky. <laughs> ooh, even though the singing's yucky, ooh, ooh they're still your friends. <laughs> if you've got friends, Meow. it's a Meow. thing that's very pleasing. Meow. You don't even mind them teasing. Meow. When they're your friend. Hey, listen to me. I believe there can't be many cats with friends as good as Kenny. 
and it makes me very proud. And if you ask me, I would even say I'm very fond of Stephen. So let's all sing it right out loud. Yeah, what about Robert? Well, he's our friend. He can sing along as well. Yes, come on, Robert. <laughs> if you got friends, there's no reason to be lonely. You'll be really happy only when you got friends. When you got friends. When you got friends. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, well done, Robert. Ah, uh, well, when you got friends, I think it's a jolly good idea if they stay to tea, don't you, Stephen? I most certainly do. Would you like to stay to tea, Kenny? I'm just waiting to be asked. Well, we're asking you. Then I will. Then I'll go get the tea ready straight away. Lovely. Hey, Kenny, while he's doing that, why don't you come to my room and meet some of my other friends? Oh, that'd be great. How do we get to your room? Well, you, you hold my hand. Right. And off we go. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Yeah, it's moon magic. <laughs> Hello, who's this? This is my friend Pamela. She's a snail, you know. <laughs> Pamela, this is Kenny. It's nice to meet you, Pamela. You know you must be the most beautiful snail I've ever seen. Oh, she's shy. You know, there can't be a lot of people who are friends with a snail. Oh, I've got lots of friends. Just a minute. Here's Veronica. Hello, Veronica. <laughs> She hasn't got much to say for herself, has she? No, because she's a doll. Oh. <laughs> He's a rubber chicken. He doesn't talk much either. I'm not surprised. <laughs> ah, now this is my good friend Norman. He's a spider. <laughs> You'll like him. Say hello to Kenny Norman. Hello. Hello, Norman. I'd, I'd shake hands with you, but... Uh... I'm not sure which is your hands or which is your feet. He's not very friendly, is he? Oh, he is, really. He just sounds a bit grumpy, that's all. Spiders are like that, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. Tea's ready. Oh, good. Let's go and eat. Oh, thanks for introducing me to all your friends, Mooncat. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Good. You'll have to hold my hand. Oh. Uh, cheese and tomato sandwiches, they all right, Robert? Hey, oh, here we are then. <laughs> I've just been meeting some of Mooncat's friends. They're unusual lot, aren't they? They certainly are. Well, sit down Ooh. and tuck in. Oh, good Ooh. food. Honey, <laughs> 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 Ooh, lovely. Uh, Kenny, uh, it's really good having friends. <laughs> will you read me a story when you come again? Of course I will. <laughs> Next time I come to visit. Oh, good. When will that be? Uh, when you ask me. Oh. oh, there's no need to ask any. You're our friend, right, Moongat? Right. He's your friend and my friend. Mm. And uh, Robert wants to be his friend too, don't you, Robert? Humpty Dumpty sat on a uh, Kenny. No. Um, I think that means he likes you, Kenny. Who's your funny friend? <laughs> <laughs> if you got friends, Meow. there's no reason to be lonely. Meow. You'll be really happy only Meow. when you got friends. When you got friends, when you got friends. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> no, eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Stephen's a bit late, isn't he? I hope he hasn't any trouble with my motor. Why should he have trouble with it? He can drive, can't he? Yeah, but I'll, I'll let you into a little secret. Mm. It's not a very good motor. It uh, breaks down a lot. Mm. Well, why did you lend it to Stephen, then? Well, so he could bring the coat rack to the shop. I mean, it'd be very hard to get the coat rack back here without a motor car. Very hard. No, he, he's just a bit late, that's all. It shouldn't have taken him this long to bring a coat rack here in a car. Yeah, that's true, but if the car, if the car broke down... Hooray! Oh, here he is! is. <laughs> Hello, Stephen! Hello, Stephen. He's grumpy. You know what, Kenny? What? I think you're right. Let's go and cheer him up. We've come to cheer you up. Have you? Yes. What's the matter? You seem grumpy. I am. I'm in a very bad mood. Why? Well, the coat stand was a very awkward shape, and I kept bumping it and knocking it. And then the car wouldn't start. It doesn't sometimes. And then I tried to mend it, but I couldn't. So I had to walk all the way back with the coat stand. You haven't had a good, really good day, have you? No wonder you're grumpy, Stephen. What can we do to cheer you up? Nothing. Just leave me alone. I think we all go back to the shop and I'll tell you a story. Yeah, I think it would be a very good idea. Mm. Uh, wouldn't the car start at all? No. Uh, so you left it... It's in Windsor Road. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get it started. Uh, I'll move it later. No. I think we'd better go. Oh, he is in a bad mood, isn't he? Yes, he is. Perhaps he'd like to listen to the story as well. That might cheer him up. No, I think when people are that grumpy, it's best to leave them alone for a little while. Well, well at least we're not too grumpy for a story. No, definitely <laughs> not. 
What have you chosen to yeah, die? That way. One day, George woke up with a strange feeling. It wasn't like feeling unhappy, and it wasn't like feeling cross. It was a little bit like both of those feelings put together, and everything that George did made him feel worse. He put his sweater on back to front. He put his shoes on the wrong feet. He got soap in his eyes when he, when he washed his face. And when he went downstairs, his toes hurt because his shoes were on the wrong feet. And when he went into the kitchen, his brother laughed at him because his sweater was on back to front. Georgie, porgy, pudding and pie, said George's mother to make him smile. But George didn't smile. He sat down at the table and ate his breakfast. Usually he turned his empty eggshell the wrong way up so that his, his mother would think that he hadn't eaten his breakfast. But today, he left it the right way up. What's the matter with George, said his brother. Oh, I think George feels a bit grumpy today, said his mother. George went out into the yard to feed the rabbit. Stump, 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 he went. With his shoes on the wrong feet and his sweater on back to front. He gave the rabbit some cabbage leaves and then he sat down by the rabbit hutch. Through the window, he could see the kitchen table and his plate and his egg cup with the eggshell the right way up. He wished that he'd turned it upside down. Oh, I feel grumpy today, George said to the rabbit. But the rabbit didn't seem to care. He just ate his cabbage leaves and twitched his nose. <laughs> so George went back into the house and stood in the middle of the kitchen floor. I'm grumpy today, he said, but, but no one heard him. I said, I'm grumpy, shouted George but still no one took any notice of him. I'm very grumpy today, shouted George, as loudly as he could. George's brother laughed at this, but George's mother picked him up and cuddled him. Poor old grumpy George, she said. Then she sat him down, put his shoes on the right feet, and put his sweater on the right way round. George felt better. He went to the table, and while his mother wasn't looking, he turned the eggshell the wrong way up so that she would think he hadn't eaten his breakfast. And after that, George didn't feel even a little bit grumpy. So George wasn't grumpy in the end? No, no one stays grumpy forever. Yeah. I wonder how long it'll be before Stephen's in a better mood. Oh, not very long, I shouldn't think. Mm. Shall I go and see if I can cheer him up again? Yeah, and I'll go and see if I can get the car started. Yeah. See you later. Uh, good luck with him. Oh, thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? Because I'm grumpy. Well, I'm grumpy too. Why? I'm grumpy because you're grumpy. I don't like it when you're in a bad mood. <sighs> Do I really look like that? Yes. I'll show you. Just take a look at yourself in this mirror. Oh, I see what you mean. It's not a very cheerful face, is it? No. I know what would cheer you up, though. A song. Sing me one. Well, I'm in such a bad mood, it'll be a very grumpy song, I'm afraid. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, Mooncat, what did you put it over yeah. there for? It was only my little joke, Stephen. Mm, well, <laughs> I don't think it was very funny. I did. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because I'm grumpy. I'm grumpy. It's easy to see that I'm grumpy. Everything's gone wrong, so my face is long. And I sing this song, I'm grumpy. Yes, you are. Oh, I feel really, really... Grumpy, I'm grumpy. It's easy to see that I'm grumpy. I stamp about and I growl and shout. There isn't any doubt I'm grumpy. Ooh. Wow! You're going to break that guitar in a minute, Stephen. Grumpy, I'm grumpy. It's easy to see that I'm grumpy. Oh, come on. Don't talk to me, because my mood, you see, is as bad as it can be. I'm grumpy. It certainly is. <sighs> now, you listen to this. Hey, smiling, try smiling. It's hard to be grumpy. 
grubby with your smile. Don't wear a brown and let your bow the troubadour. <laughs> oh, Mooncat, you're a clown. <laughs> you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would do the trick. Do you feel better now? Yes, I do. I don't feel grumpy anymore. Oh, good. Well, I'm going to make sure you don't get grumpy again. Don't go away. That's good, Stephen. Just stay like that for a bit. Well, like what? Keep smiling. Oh, like this. Mm. Yes. I'm going to draw a picture of you smiling. Mm. Yeah. What for? Well, I'm going to put it up on the wall when it's finished. And any time you feel grumpy, you can look at it and it'll cheer you up. <laughs> oh, that's a very yeah. good idea. <laughs> Keep smiling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My felt tips run out. I'd better get another one. I think that's enough to cheer anyone up. It's not fair! What isn't? I can't find another felt tip and I wanted to finish the drawing and now I can't... Now, <laughs> now, 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 who's being grumpy? Smile, please. I'm sorry, Stephen. I was getting grumpy for a minute there, wasn't I? Yes, you were, <laughs> and there's nothing to get grumpy about. We can soon find you another felt tip pen to finish your drawing. Oh, I wonder who that can be. Well, there's only one way to find out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, I did it! I did it! I cheered him up! Look! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I was grumpy earlier, Kenny. Uh, don't talk to me. Oh, what's the matter? I'm in a bad mood. Why is everybody in such a bad mood today? Well, I tried to get the car started and it wouldn't work. So I suppose I'll have to get a mechanic. I don't know where I'm going to get one from this time of the day. And I needed that car tonight as well. Oh, I'm in such a bad mood. Grumpy, he's grumpy. It's easy to see that he's grumpy. Everything's gone wrong, so his face is long. And we sing this song, he's grumpy. Ah, oh, grumpy, I'm grumpy. It's easy to see that I'm grumpy. I stamp about and I growl and shout. There isn't any doubt, he's I'm grumpy. grumpy. Oh, come on, Kenny. No. Come it's not on, as bad as that. Kenny. Just a little smile. You just smile. Smile. Down the corner of your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. A little tickle there. Right. Say cheese. Go on. Cheese. It burns every time. Right, Stephen? Right. Hey. <laughs> smiling. Try smiling. It's hard to be grumpy when you're smiling. Don't wear a frown or let your mouth droop down. It's, it's better, better if we all keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> into the shop is very big and I'm not even sure if it's going to fit through the door. <laughs> oh. 
Don't push, Robert. <laughs> this way, Ben. Back a bit. Back a bit, back a bit Stephen. Right. Oh. Right. 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 right a bit. Right, right a bit, Stephen. Oh, right. Oh, now right, it's, it's, oh, steady, 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 oh, steady, steady Stephen. Oh. 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 Just here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I don't oh. know how you'd have done it without me. <laughs> oh. oh, neither do I, Moon. Oh. That was hard work, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was very heavy this sideboard. Uh, Must be good solid wood, though. But Kenny, yeah. Are you out of breath? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I hope you're not too out of breath to um, tell me a story, though. Oh. No, I don't think I am. <laughs> OK, yeah. where's the book? Yeah, here. Oh, yeah. I've chosen one already. Oh, good. That one, please. Oh, this one here, right there. <laughs> oh. Let me see. Robert the Boot was staying with his grandmother. Mm -hmm. Grimmel was staying there, too. Grimmel is Robert's secret friend. No one but Robert can see or hear him. Even though Robert's grandmother couldn't see or hear Grimmel, she was very pleased that he had come to stay. After breakfast, Everyone went up the wooden stairs to tidy the attic. <laughs> they looked in all the boxes and trunks and yeah. found an old wooden gramophone with a handle to wind it up and some records and a xylophone with some little wooden sticks to play it. Most interesting thing of all was a puppet made of wood. Oh. <laughs> it lay in the corner of the trunk with its strings tied round and round. When the strings had been untied, Robert's granny showed him how to, to make the puppet dance. It danced very slowly at first, because the wooden joints were still stiff. But after a while, the dance got faster and faster. How the puppet leapt into the air. How it spun on the tips of its painted wooden shoes. How they danced over the creaking wooden floorboards of the attic. And back again. Robert danced with a wooden puppet, while Robert's grandmother held the strings. Take your partners and off you go, sashay around with an old sea do she sang. <laughs> thump, thump went Robert's shiny red boots, and clickety-clack went the puppet's wooden feet. Suddenly, in the middle of all the fun and music, Robert heard the sound of Grimm and sulking in the corner. Grimm had always made a noise when he sulked, so that everyone would know that he was in a bad mood. Robert stopped dancing and looked at him. What's the matter, he said. No one's dancing with me, said Grimmond. Everyone's dancing with him. Oh, Grimmond, said Robert. It's only a puppet. He lowered the puppet gently to the floor. The wooden head flopped down to the painted shoes and the wooden arms lay still. Grimmond watched for a moment, but the puppet didn't move again. He lifted one of the puppet's hands and it fell to the floor with a little clunk. Oh, it's made of wood, said Grimmond. I feel better now. Let's have some more music then, cried Robert. So Robert's grandmother put another record onto the gramophone and danced with Grimmond. Stamp, stamp, stamp went their feet over the dry old floorboards. Clunk, clunk, clunk went the wooden xylophone as Robert beat time with the little wooden sticks. <coughs> hey, hey, all those different things made out of wood. Mm, yeah, wood's very useful. Look at all the different things we've got in the shop that's made of wood. There's the, uh, there's the wardrobe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, the door. Oh, the door. Come in! <laughs> hey, there's, there's that little wooden chair over there. Yeah. That's made of wood, yeah, and, the, and the wooden clock case up there, you missed oh, that. Yeah. yeah, and the telephone. No, the telephone's not made of wood. Oh. It's, uh, it's hard plastic there. Mm -hmm. Knock yeah. it and see. Oh, all right. Knock, knock, knock. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It sounds Ooh. quite different. Hello, anybody there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Stephen's head isn't made of wood either. Funny, <laughs> I always thought it was. No, my head <laughs> definitely isn't made of wood. <laughs> there are lots of wooden things, though, aren't there? Yeah, wood's mm. very useful, and it's beautiful as well. Yeah. Yes, and this will look even better when it's polished. Oh. And uh, the better it looks, the easier it is for you to sell. Yeah, I'll polish it, shall I, Stephen? I All like right. polishing things. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear that. Next time I come round, you can polish my car. It mm. certainly needs mm. it. You have to start it first. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, thanks for helping us with the sideboard, It Kenny. was my pleasure, yeah. uh, I think. Oh, yeah. my back. Goodbye, to... Kenny. Goodbye. Thanks Open for the, the story. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> <See you, laughs> Robert. Uh, we'll soon have this looking as good as new. <laughs> and I'll help you. <laughs> Stephen, wood comes from trees, doesn't it? That's right. <laughs> but this sideboard's made of wood, but it doesn't look anything like a tree. No, no, it doesn't. Now, the tree has to be cut down first, 
And then all sorts of different things are done to the wood before it's ready to be made into furniture. What sort of things? Well, we could find out. <laughs> With moon magic? Certainly. <laughs> trees! Lots and lots of them! They're pine trees. And here's the man who's going to cut them down. He's a lumberjack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> Mm, the trees are very tall, aren't they? How is he going to cut them down? He's got a power saw. He's trimming some of the bark off and the branches. That makes it easier for the tree to be dragged away. The tree looks different without its branches, doesn't it? Yes. Now we call it a log. Bye-bye, log! It's snowing. No, it's not. And what's happening then? You'll see. It's all the bark off the log. That's the machine that's stripping it. And when the bark's been taken off, all that's left is... Wood! That's right. <laughs> And then the wood can be made into furniture, or doors, or counters, or anything at all. Would you believe it? <laughs> I wonder what sort of tree you were, Mr Sideboard. <laughs> an oak tree. Who said that? I did. I said I was an oak tree. <laughs> It was you, wasn't it, Stephen? Me? Sideboards can't speak. <laughs> no, they can't. And they can't sing either. No. But if they did, I know what sort of song they would sing. You want your guitar, don't you? Yes, please. <laughs> oh. <coughs> You're never satisfied, are you, Stephen? <laughs> that oh. box is made of wood as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, if I was a sideboard, yeah. mm -hmm. this is the sort of song I would sing. Yeah. Once I was a tree mm -hmm. on a hilltop. Now I am a sideboard standing in your shop. I'm wood, ah! real wood. I'm wood, real wood. Hey! <laughs> hey, your guitar's made of wood as well. Yes. What would that sing? Uh, let me think. Mm? Once I was a tree, tree. growing tall and strong. strong. Now I'm a guitar and I'm playing this song. Hey. I'm wood. Real wood. I'm wood. Real wood. <laughs> now, what other wooden things are there we could sing about? Um, what about the table in the back room? That's wooden. Yes, it is. So what are we waiting for? Yeah. Once I was a tree growing in the ground. <laughs> now I am a table that people sit around. I'm wood. Real wood. I'm wood, real wood. Whee! <laughs> the old piano in the backyard. That's wooden too. Yes, it is. And we won't need the guitar for that song, will we? No. Uh, Stephen, what sort of tree has yellow wood? 
Ah, the piano is made of wood, but it's been painted yellow. Mm. Lots of wooden things are painted. Mm. Now, um, once I was a tree, oh, was a tree. Growing, every growing every day. Now I am a piano, piano. that you sit and play. <laughs> I'm wood, real wood. wood. I'm wood, real wood. Oh, no cats. Oh, I'm mad. Uh... Right, let's go and finish polishing the sideboard. Yes, but don't go hitting that too hard, will you? Come on. <laughs> ah, we'll soon have you shining bright, Mr. Sideboard. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, don't some people treat furniture badly? Oh, what, you mean the sort of people who bash pianos to pieces? No. I mean the sort of people who knock nails into sideboards. Oh, there are lots of little nail holes here well, and here. Mooncat, they're not nail holes. But well, what sort of holes are they then? They're holes made by woodworm. Woodworm? <laughs> What's a woodworm? It's a little grub that eats holes in wood. It eats wood? Yuck! <sighs> I like eating, but I don't think I'd like to eat wood. <laughs> Can you hear me, little worm? You ought to try rhubarb pie. It tastes much nicer than wood. Mooncat, this is serious. <laughs> Why? Well, if we leave the sideboard in the shop, yeah. the woodworm can start eating all the other wooden things in here. Oh. Like the furniture, oh. the counter, the clock. <laughs> and the door, and the floorboards, and your guitar. <laughs> yes. I'd better get this sideboard out into the yard oh. until I decide what to do with oh, it. Leave it to me, Stephen. No, 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 no. no. I can manage. It's too heavy for you. Yes, but... Uh... No, if you try to lift it, you'll hurt yourself. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's Kenny. Oh. <laughs> car won't start. Can I use the phone to phone the garage? Right. Yes. Has your car got woodworm, Kenny? No, cars don't get woodworm, Toby. <laughs> it's, uh, it's wood that gets woodworm. Cars you're, are metal. You're oh. just in time, Kenny. Just in time for what? Well, to help me carry the sideboard out into the yard. Oh, no. After all the trouble we had getting it in... You haven't sold it already, have you? <laughs> That's a joke. Stephen never sells anything. <laughs> No, no, the, the sideboard's got woodworm. Oh. We have to carry it out. Yeah. Uh, all right, then, I'll make the uh, call later. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Um, I can help. No, 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 it's too heavy for you, Mooncat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you worry, Mooncat. We'll do it. We'll lift it. Oh, I think... Yes. Oh. I'm a bit... All right. Right, get over it. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Now, oh, I'd better help whether you right. want me to or not. Oh. Oh. Where's that gone? It's in the yard. Everybody seems to have forgotten moon magic. Oh, do you mean to tell me we struggled to get it into the shop, struggled to get it out again, and you could have done the job as easily as that? Yes, I offered to help, but Stephen wouldn't let me. Oh, Stephen. Oh, sorry. Oh, my back. Oh, come on, let's sing. If I was a worm, eating through the wood, in and out the holes, wouldn't it be good? No, it wouldn't be good, Kenny. It would be for the worm. Oh, oh yes. It would. It would be good. Oh, yes. It would. It would be good. Oh, yes. Oh, stop it. it. Finished. <laughs> oh, be back.